What's up YouTube? Broke Investor here, uh, making my second video from home, finally. Um, so today I just wanna, I wanna make a video about uh, one of my favorite holdings, um, and one of my, the majority holding, honestly, at this moment. And the main reason I wanna talk about this stock is, to me, it's a great entry point. It's cheap. Um, again, being a broke investor, you don't have a lot of money, so you're looking for the best value at the moment, but on top of that, it has to be something you can afford. Um, so Apple Hospitality, um, ticker symbol APLE. Uh, it's a real estate investment trust. It, it's a monthly payer, um, it's, and it pays a consistent dividend. So I wanna talk about this stock, go through the numbers, go through some facts, and let me, got, let me know, know what you guys think. So uh, we'll start with the, the board first. Um, as you can see, um, I just logged some information going back to 2015 up until uh, current. The most current information is only up to 2017, obviously. So the stock price, as you can see, um, you know, in 2015 to 2017, it kind of stayed within the $19 range, you know, which is fine, is what it is. 2018 today, this is actually as of today, is it went down to $16.36. Also today, a lot of stocks are down. So I'm not surprised. Um, so, I mean, to me, I think this is a great opportunity. Um, and uh, uh, the main reason is the dividend. As you can see, it pays $1.20 a year the last four years. Um, this is under assumption, obviously, for 2018. But it's been paying $0.10 cents a month, every month, um, as long as it's been around. So, yes, it doesn't increase. It sucks. But if you can get in with this entry point and get that dividend, that's an over 7% yield. So, in the immediate, you know, say your, most of your stocks pay 2 to 3% yield today. This one will pay you 7% plus right off the bat. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> let's go over some of the uh, financials to see if you guys, you know, does this stock make you feel comfortable? We'll see. Um, I have here the revenue, the net income, and the cash information. Uh, obviously, the re you know, I wrote this down, um, and it's in millions. It's, you know, it's summarized, so... 2015, 898 million. Um, this increased in 2016. It went up 15% to uh, 1 billion. And then in 2017, it went up another 18% to 1.2 billion. Uh, not too bad. Net income, 117 million. Then increased in 2016, 145 million. And then 2017, 182 million. Again, uh, good growth, 16 and 8 percent growth. The cash, 23 million, 29 million, 30 million. Looking pretty good. Again, the growth, 29 percent growth, and then the next year, one percent, but still, it's growth. Um, also, uh, when I calculated the gross profit, I did not write it down, but um, 2015 was 531 million. That increased in 2016 to uh, 621 million and increased in 2017 to 738 million. So um, balance sheet and income statement look pretty damn good. Uh, but let's look at the debt. Uh, the debt in 2015 was, it was only 883 million. Uh, that increased 20% though in 2016 to 1 billion and then it increased 4% in 2017 to 1.1 billion. Obviously, everyone has debt, it is what it is, but at least they're uh, maintaining their debt pretty well. Um, now, I'm just gonna go over some other, you know, financial information about this company. So, obviously, as I mentioned in the beginning, right now, it has a 7.41% yield. I mean, that, yes, it's high, which is a red flag, but do, do your due diligence on the stock, do your research, and come back and tell me um, that this, you know, this dividend does not look safe. 
Uh, again, as I mentioned, they pay monthly. I know a lot of people love monthly dividends. So it's 10, 10 cents per month. So you pay your $16, you'll get 10 cents per month. Sounds good to me. Again, that's $1.20 per year. The payout ratio. <clears throat> uh, again, the payout ratio is basically the percentage of their earnings that they're paying out towards their dividend. So anything over 100%, they're borrowing. Just keep that in mind. Their payout ratio is 69.4%. So obviously there's, there is room to grow the dividend. So I am hoping and expecting an increase in the future. I'm not sure when, they haven't done it yet, so, but I got high hopes. Um, uh, I talked about the stock price here. As you can see, past couple years, it was around 19, but this year alone, the low was $15.88. It went, it went down that low, but the high was $20.19, just to give you an idea of where we're at for the year. The market cap for this stock is $3.76 billion. Um, just so you know, you know, it's not some little turd. And the holdings for this stock, 6% uh, belong to individual stockholders, 34% mutual funds, and 24% uh, other institutions. Now for the, uh, the top five institutional holdings, just to give you an idea of the kind of companies that, you know, are holding the stock and have trust in this stock. Vanguard Group um, has, you know, has about 13%. BlackRock Inc., 6%. State Street, 3%. Northern Trust Corp., 4.9%. PGGM Investments, 1.69%. So again, that's the top five holders in order. Um, you know, that hold the majority of the shares for this particular stock. Um, and now I'm just going to go into some facts um, to keep you guys interested, you know, some inf interesting things about this company. Um, again, it's a REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust. Um, the industry is basically they, you know, they buy hotels and motels and they make money off of them. Uh, it was founded on November 8th, 2007 by Glade Knight. And this company is headquartered in Rich, Richmond, Virginia. They own about 241 hotels within 34 states. They're in 88 markets and have 30,754 guest rooms. Um, according to TripAdvisor, they have an average rating of 4.3 out of 5. So, I don't use TripAdvisor. You know, I assume that's the major, uh, their major uh, purchased, you know, online option. But that's good, again. Um, the average effective age of their hotels Yeah, the average effective age of their hotels, you know, new or renovated last. I actually didn't write that down. Whoops. Anyway, the average executive tenure with the Apple Reed companies is, is more than 15 years. So, you know, that tells you something as well. The, they have a couple subsidiaries, uh, one being Apple 7 Hospitality Management, one being Apple Reed 8 Inc., one being Apple Nine Ventures Ownership Inc. Um, so, and as far as their employees, uh, they employ 54 people in 2015, and then 2016 and 17 they've had 56, which is pretty low. But um, again, this is not a huge company, but it's you know it's it's big enough that it gives you a little comfort level. And again, the reason why I, in particular, like this stock, I, I, I'm investing in dividends for the long term. I'm buying stocks and I'm holding them forever. That's the plan. So most of my stocks that I buy, the idea is I'm expecting them to raise their dividend year over year over year. So my buy-in point, you know, my yield on cost will be, you know, look better and better every year. A stock like this, it's a little different. 
there is nothing to tell me on this stock that they're going to raise their dividend. However, my payouts on these larger companies, these blue chip companies, these companies, yeah, I know they're going to raise their dividend every year, but they're paying a two to 3% yield, you know, on average. So if, if I'm averaging out my current income, if I want to try to make it a little higher, I have to look into things like REITs. Um, most of the REITs have a higher, higher dividend yield, especially if, you know, their current stock price looks like this. So I'm averaging down at the moment, um, you know, doing my best, trying to get the more, the more and more 10 cents I get, the more money I can make, and then the more I could reinvest. So that's the plan for me. Um, and again, I'm no financial advisor, obviously. I'm just a broke ass making a video in his basement, trying to help newbies. Um, I'm also a newbie, but I'm a year into it. So makes me an expert, right? No, anyway, um, I just wanted to share information um, as I learn it. And I just wanted to share my experience as I go. I'm about a year, year or so into dividend investing. First month I made 50 cents. I'm now up to around uh, 29 uh, and change, I believe, per month. So it's going up, it's getting better and better. Maybe I can make a video on that later. But again, this video was about ticker symbol, A-P-L-E, Apple Hospitality, one of my favorite monthly payers, one of my favorite stocks overall, and one that I believe in. Um, but take a look at it, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you think on this stock, and we'll go from there. All right? If, you st if you're still there, thanks for tuning in.